Hello friends, this video on components of food part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the next important uh, component of our food is roughage. So what is roughage? So roughage is indigestible portion of food which is mostly derived from plants. Now uh, there are a lot of things which cannot be digested by human beings. So these, this is one such indigestible portion. However, even though it is, it, it cannot be digested, but still it is helpful for us. Do you know why? So we will just discuss that. So it, it is beneficial because it helps our body to get rid of the undigested food. So it helps our body to get rid of the undigested food. What happens to the undigested food? Now, so the undigested food comes out with our stools, right? Now, when the amount of roughage is more inside our body so the bulk increases so the stool softens so that's how the process of ejection is smooth so that this process of removing in undigested food is called ejection so whichever is not digested that is thrown out of the body in the form of stools now if there is a lot of roughage in our body then the stool is softened therefore uh, giving out and ejecting the stools become easier. So that's the benefit of roughage. So it, it you know it cleans your bowel. But when you talk about the disadvantage, the disadvantage part is that it does not provide any nutrient as such because roughage is uh, it is the indigestible portion. So it is neither rich in carbohydrate nor protein nor fat. So it doesn't provide any specific nutrient. The disadvantage is that it doesn't provide any specific nutrient and it also has the potential for significant intestinal gas production so gas formation can happen due to roughage and too much of gas production can cause uh, discomfort in that person so roughage has both advantages as well as disadvantages but we need to include roughage in our diet otherwise you know the process of uh, the undigested food that doesn't get out of our body easily and again that creates indigestion problems. So some of the food items which are rich in roughage are fruits, vegetables because roughage is mostly obtained from plants, lentils, potatoes, uh, wheat. So these are all rich source of roughage. Mostly fruits and vegetables are very rich in roughage. Now, last but not the least, the most important thing that is needed for the survival of all living organisms is water. It is very important that we maintain the right amount of water inside our body. Because if there is less water inside our body, a lot of problems can start taking place. So when it comes to water intake, we need to ensure that we drink plenty of water, plenty of fluids. Now, what does this water which is present inside our body, what does it do? So it helps to transport the nutrients to different cells of the body. So water has the ability to flow. So it keeps flowing from one part of the body to another and along with it, it carries a lot of nutrients. So that, that's how it helps to, uh, you know, transport the nutrients to each and every corner of the body. It also helps to remove the waste products from the body. Now each and every cell inside our body, they produce some amount of waste product. So all those waste products are collected by the water and as the water flows, the waste product also flows and it goes out of the body through excretion, maybe through urine. So that's how water helps. So water helps in transporting substances, whether it is the nutrients or the waste products from one part to another. Now the question is how does our body get water, how do we get water? So one thing is we directly drink water, that's one thing. Besides that there are a lot of food items, for example milk, tea, coffee, milkshakes, juices, buttermilk, these also, all these food items also contain a huge amount of water. In fact, you prepare any of these items, whether you talk about the tea or you talk about coffee or you talk about juices, you make them by uh, taking some water. In fact, all fruits and vegetables also contain some water. So even if you don't add water to it, you just take a, an, a potato and cut a slice of potato. Just to touch it with your hand. What do you see? You can feel uh, that the potato, the slice of the potato is wet. 
so why is it wet due to presence of water so by default fruits and vegetables contain water in them so when we consume any of these we are actually uh, taking in water and that's how our body gets water and it is important that we provide sufficient water to our body so that the body can function properly thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again